Hi there. Real significant news came out about House of the Dragon today, the Game of Thrones prequel TV series about the Dance of the Dragons. HBO just released the first two pieces of official concept art from the series, each of them a character study on dragons from it. It's nothing earth-shattering, I know, but this is the absolute first visual content we've got from this project, and it's not a leak or anything. I'm so used to dealing with leaks and things for the past year. It was formally released by HBO itself. So it's not so much the images themselves, which I think do look pretty cool, but that we keep getting more signs that this project is really moving forward now. As for the images themselves, based on their coloration, we're pretty sure that these are the dragons of two of the core characters. That the first one is Sunfire the Golden, dragon of Aegon II, and that the second one is Caraxes the Bloodworm, dragon of Daemon Targaryen, who is the husband of Rhaenyra. The first one looks gold, and there's an outside chance that maybe this is supposed to be bronze or something, that Vermithor is bronze and Cyrax is yellow, but this looks gold. They say, Sunfire, he's stunningly beautiful. He looks like his scales are made of shining gold, even though they're not. It's just this weird coloration he has that made him stunningly beautiful. So it'll probably look better in motion and in live action, that this is probably Sunfire the Golden. And on top of that, as Westeros.org has pointed out, you know, Vermithor and Cyrax were bigger and older dragons. This one looks more slender and young. They even, even when I first laid eyes on I thought, this is Sunfire. The second one looks a lot bigger and older in comparison, and there are only two adult dragons who are red in this time period. I laid eyes on it, I thought it was Caraxes. One or two people said, well, maybe it's Melis, but Melis is bright scarlet red with bright copper highlights on her horns. Caraxes is a solid color throughout. His solid color is dark blood red, which is what this looks like. So these two images are Sunfire and Caraxes. Now, most of us first became aware of these promo images when HBO put them out on the official Game of Thrones Twitter channel, which was nice, that this is all official. But they actually originated a few hours before that on a Medium blog post by the new CEO of HBO's parent company, Warner Media, the CEO, Jason Kyler. And when he posted it, he said, after this talking about the year in review and up ahead for HBO, P.S. Principal Photography starts on the next Game of Thrones series, House of the Dragon, in a few months. Look for dragons overhead. Now, the official Twitter channel post just said filming starts in 2021. But the original thing Kyler said, this is a nugget of info that we can get some specific detail from. Filming in a few months. We had heard rumblings that they might start some filming as early as this January. You know, six months ago we had heard that. So this is pushing it back a little from maybe as early as January, some rumors were saying with some reliability, to... No, not for a few months. Think spring 2021, March, which is when they usually start filming anyway. It, which makes sense. You know, it's the beginning of December, and we've only had one formal casting announcement so far. And I don't take issue with that. I mean, a year ago, being delayed for a few months would be, oh my god, they're losing faith in it, or there's problems behind the scenes. Nowadays, you know, everyone is announcing a production delay of a few months all the time. Like, if you heard... Uh, the Witcher is getting another two-month delay, or The Wheel of Time another two-month delay, you think nothing of it, because, you know, all the pandemic stuff. So, the fact that they're pushing it back a little from what we heard rumors of, that that's nothing, that's pandemic stuff, whatever, take the time to do it safe, gives us more time to prepare. And while principal photography might not start for a few months, the casting announcement phase has already started, you know, they already announced King Vizier is the first. So any day now, just I keep wondering, I could wake up tomorrow and turn on the news on my computer 
to see that they've suddenly announced a major new character from the books has been cast. So just any day you could check in on the news and hear a new major casting announcement. We don't know what their pattern is for this. So if you're new around here, please subscribe to my channel for regular updates. Also, I wanted to keep this video short, but I think I'm going to follow up on it with more of an analysis video on these two pieces of concept art. You know, some people go, oh, it's just concept art. There's stuff to unpack in this on the dragon designs they're using. So I want to talk about in this follow-up video, dragons that we'll see during the season one time period of the Rogue Prince prequel novella at the start of it. And also the different kinds of dragons. It, they're not all identical and not just by coloration. I'm, there's visual differences between different ones, the same way that not every dog or horse has the same shape. That, you know, like Sunfire's horns here look really long compared to other ones. So I'm going to make a follow-up video talking about that.